Welcome to From the Frontline Surgeons' Voices for the ACS Bulletin Brief. It's with great pleasure that I welcome today Dr. Ron Mayer. Dr. Mayer is, of course, our immediate past president of the American College of Surgeons and a member of the program committee. For his day job, he is the chief of surgery at Harborview Medical Center and vice chair of surgery at the University of Washington. Welcome, Dr. Mayer. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you, Dr. Wexner. I appreciate the time, and I uh, will put a footnote that I very much appreciated serving under you uh, during your term as president-elect and, and, and president at the ACS. Certainly learned a lot from you. Uh, one of the things I learned is your level of engagement. And I take advantage of that today and ask you about the upcoming virtual annual clinical Congress. And if you could perhaps give us some highlights on some of the unique features, for example, the Meet the Experts sessions. The um, executive committee of which I've had the privilege of serving on for many years has always somehow recruited an outstanding group of individuals who are phenomenally dedicated to, I think, one of the main two goals of the college, and that is its educational commitment. And the annual college meeting is the highlight of the educational program. And it is approached that way, and the dedication and work effort provided is outstanding. This year, as you know, we're faced with the challenge of the pandemic and the need to go to a virtual format. And the committee took on a uh, enormous job along with an outstanding staff at the college and in the Department of Education that have worked tirelessly to convert to a virtual meeting and to provide a very robust and diverse meeting. In fact, the final product is going to contain essentially the entire content of a usual meeting. It's going to be presented on a Zoom platform. It is on with six channels simultaneously. It will run nine hours per day for three days. And the first two days will include uh, the forum and the resident and fellows programs. And so over those five days, the entire program has been uh, coalesced and brought together and is an outstanding program. The process of selecting the panels, the speakers is the same as for every year. And we try for the highest quality and, and the most diverse program possible. Within that, one of the major parts in my estimation, since I've spent uh, many years working with is meet the expert I think it's a small part, but a very important part of the college where individuals can join into a small group discussion with a true expert in the field of the topic. It can go from inflammatory bowel disease with Dr. Fabrizio Michalassi being the host to the new developments in palliative care uh, outreach and training in the college. And this allows individual members to choose those topics which they have a specific interest in, potentially a clinical component uh, of their practice is high, heavily involved. And it allows them to one-on-one -on -one have a true in-depth discussion with a expert in the field. The Meet the Expert sessions are often limited in number uh, by size of the room at, at lunchtime during the annual clinical congress. How will they be constructed on the virtual platform to ensure that, there is, that the interaction, which is such an important part of those sessions, is maintained? It is a challenge on two parts. One is it is one of the sections, since there will not be a standardized lunch hour, since the program will be transmitted virtually from East Coast to West Coast. And so the noontime hour will be different on every uh, time zone. So the meet the experts are scattered throughout the program. They are sometimes, and, and we attempt to link them to other parts of the program that have been occurring on that channel so that there is a flow in the uh, theme of that day in that part of the program. It will be 
performed again as a subsection of the overall platform of the virtual uh, display. And it will allow for those individuals who sign up, which again will be limited to approximately 20 or 30 individuals each, to go to the, uh, to the uh, program uh, sections on that chat room to allow the uh, in-depth discussion with access for each of the participants to interact directly with the host and MC of the uh, Meet the Expert. Those are very enjoyable sessions, and uh, I, I've uh, learned a lot from them, sitting there and having people ask me questions, uh, ranging from clinical cases to theory to personal experiences, and getting to go around the room and meet people from around the world. It, it's been a limited session because, as you mentioned, it's generally been during lunch hour. Many of the other sessions during the upcoming virtual annual clinical congress will allow access to the faculty for questions after that period of time so that the materials will be enduring on, on the college website and people can send in questions by chat that faculty can answer at a later date. Will that same delayed interactivity be possible in the Meet the Expert sessions? That is still being discussed and not finalized because of the format and with the uh, more intense uh, interchange between the expert and the members that join the, the Meet the Expert session, uh, it may not be the best to make an enduring product on the uh, website. And those sessions may not be uh, um, uh, maintained in an accessible fashion going forward because it, it really is a very intimate exchange and it's not structured as a, a panel or a keynote speaker session is and would not fit as well in a immortalized session to refer to. Thanks. And while you're mentioning sessions, are there any other sessions or themes you'd like to bring up and discuss with us today uh, relative to the upcoming annual clinical congress? Well, as you know, I've spent my career as a trauma and critical care surgeon and now with emergency general surgery and acute care surgeon. But uh, those programs from the Committee on Trauma, from the acute care surgery uh, group is outstanding as always. And as you know, the challenging cases, the uh, how to deal with the unexpected during a, a major uh, injury exploration or uh, laparotomy are one of the best uh, groups of sessions in attendance at the meeting every year. And so they will be back. The experts will be back. The pro cons will be back. And overall, that portion of the Congress is looking uh, to be, again, an excellent product and very beneficial for those who don't see trauma every day. It allows the physician, no matter where they practice, who occasionally sees trauma or acute care, the opportunity to obtain true CME and areas to see progress, uh, improvements in uh, approach and treatment uh, that they just don't have the time to keep up with necessarily or see that frequently. So. I believe that's why it's always such a popular um, part of the program. And again, it looks like it's going to be an excellent part of the program. One of the advantages of having sessions that can be watched at, at a later date or can be watched at, at any time, essentially, is the ability to attract people who wouldn't otherwise necessarily have the time and or resources to come to the meeting. Well, what's your in anticipation for international attendees as well as uh, med students, residents, and fellows? As you mentioned, the one major positive to the virtual platform is accessibility and to fit into people's lives who are very busy, have difficulty leaving their, their uh, clinical practice, travel. They can't take that time off. The international community has great difficulty in traveling to meetings in the United States. And so this program is, it will be a major uh, bonus in the educational efforts of the college because I expect that between the uh, national and international membership communities, there will be 
way over 10,000 participants in this program, and they will gain access at their leisure. And again, for the residents and fellows who have major workloads, it will allow them to pick up knowledge from a specific topic or program that they are interested in on the weekends, at night. And again, I think this is the major uh, contribution of going to the virtual program as far as disseminating the educational message. And let's not, of course, forget the price tag, which couldn't, couldn't possibly be better. Correct. It is hard to beat. They're going to send you money for joining. <laughs> well, thanks for all you've done these years uh, with the program committee, on the executive committee of the program committee, and, and obviously all you've done as, as president. Looking forward to a very robust, meaningful, interactive, innovative program in October. Thank you very much. It's once again been a pleasure working with an outstanding group of members on the, on the committee and working with a support staff at the college, which is bar none the best I've ever seen in an organization. And it's been a hectic time, but the product is excellent. And I think the membership will truly enjoy it and be able to enjoy it for many years. Thanks again. Thank you. Take care.